Well, everyone, welcome to Kiki and Kibbutz with Mary and Brianna. And this is our Love After Lockup podcast, except Life After Lockup. Sorry, got it wrong. Life After Lockup. And uh, like I said, Mary's here. So, hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey. What's going on besides technical difficulties with YouTube? Yeah. This podcast is supposed to be live. However, YouTube um, disagreed with that. So yes, you're going to have to settle for record it. And then the other thing that's going on is I got this nail polish and it's so hideous that I asked my manicurist if she could do a polish change like immediately. So I'm waiting for my appointment. But in the meantime, it's like I'm kind of traumatized. Does that ever happen to you? Yes, that has happened to me before. Can you go like a full two weeks with some polish that you really, really hate? Um, I can, but I don't think that polish is that hideous, personally. But If you were here in the room, you would think so. <laughs> okay. It reminds me of polish that Jenny on um, 90 Day Fiance the other way would wear. Oh, okay. Okay. It, there's just all kinds of problems with it. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> and speaking so love of all kinds of problems, Brianna, so Sean many and Sarah, problems. Sean and oh, Sarah, Sarah, so many what problems. The, what the actual fuck? I mean, I first off, I just want everyone to know these guys are together and I don't want to yes. spoil it for you, but we've seen evidence on social media that they're I, together and she's pregnant. Yes. So. Very pregnant at that. So she's so. as dumb as he is, basically, his mm -hmm. bottom line here. Yeah. And that means super fucking dumb, because that dude is really, and really dumb. Sean has really strong fucking swimmers. I mean... Yeah, no he, kidding. Oops, he did it again for the seventh fucking time? Are you kidding me? Like, what in the actual fuck? That's all I have to say. I want to just mention just quickly back to technical difficulties that I didn't even have the right mic selected until now. <laughs> <laughs> so if the sound just changed on you people, that's why. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. So like they're in bed together for the very first time. They and apparently he's very good at sex, as we learned on the last episode. Which yes, so uh, which gave me the, like heebie jeebies. Yeah, it's gross. So then he tells her, okay, by the way, I have six kids. And, um, and, and by the way, Destiny. right, I was engaged during the time six that we were talking. Ago. Right, during the time that we were talking, mind you. So this was surprising. She jumped up out of bed and packed her shit to leave. Shocker. Right, and she storms out of the house and she's like, that's it. I'm going to call my mother. And he seems more concerned about her calling her mother. Than her being like upset. He's like practically begging her, please don't call your mom. Please don't call your mom. Well, I think that because he doesn't want her to leave, right? Yeah, yes. And yeah. he doesn't want her to tell her mom about all this yeah. because her he mom is already be giving right him a hard time and forget it. Forget it. That's it. He dug his grave. I swear to God, some of these mothers have lie detectors built into them. Oh, uh, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I feel like I don't have that kind of sixth sense for lies. Do you? Can you tell when your kid's lying? Yeah, I can. I really don't think I can. Yeah. Anyway, Sean's a loser, and I also kind of find him a predator. You know? Yeah, he is a predator. It's like he plans this out, and it's like he, you know, these are young, young women. They're mm -hmm. wait, you know, they're too young. They're almost 20 years apart in age. She's 28 and he's like 45, right? Yeah, I know. So like, yeah, that is a very big age difference. He doesn't give them a chance to like, she kind of says this, like, you didn't even give me a chance to accept you. You just assumed that I'd reject you based on this information. Right. You know? So she goes back into the house right i like because what why? in the actual fuck so sean agrees to give her her space she goes back into the house and the next morning he's like ray of ray and Brittany cooking her breakfast and he's no that's not true he's not like ray because ray makes 
fabulous freaking meals. Did you see that meal? Didn't yes, he that's true. On the tray and stuff. Mm -hmm. This looks like this dude can't even cook. But like what? He's going to win her over with this little But he served also, it to her again. by candlelight, though. Did you notice that? Who the fuck eats breakfast by candlelight? I cannot answer that question. However, I would believe that filming took so long that it's already nighttime again. That like three days <laughs> to, <laughs> to try to get any decent footage out of these two uh, idiots. But yeah. I mean, I almost feel bad for Sarah. Like I do feel bad for Sarah. So, I mean, she didn't tell him she had a child either. I think that's heinous to lie about your own child's. Uh, yes, it is heinous. It is heinous. But um, Sean lied to her again. She, he said that um, him and Kelly ha hadn't been together for nine years. How isn't long has his, it been? Isn't his youngest child like eight years old or something? Oh, my God. Really? I don't know. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I so. I did not keep track of all his I think his, his youngest child his is, like, is like eight years old or something. You know, he is he is seriously such a liar. Uh, yeah. And then is. they're at breakfast and he like asks her to move in. And it's like, dude, read the fucking room. Right? Like, he, what the he, fuck? And also, did he tell her his age yet? Because I don't think he has. That lie hasn't come out yet. I don't know. You know something? That's a good point. I don't think. He yeah. Has. So it's like, like he still hasn't given her all the facts and he's asking her to move in. And also I'm really surprised. Okay. We know they're together and she's pregnant, but like that means she doesn't give a fuck that he has abandoned six children, like in another state. I know. And she's going to have a baby with this dick wad. And like, I mean, does he convince her it's all Kelly's fault? I mean, whatever. I don't know. Let's not talk about these idiots anymore. Let's move no. on to more idiots. Yes, I was going to say, let's move Chain on to the next Lacey. idiots. Yes. Right. Oh, God. First of all, okay, that therapist was totally leaning towards Lacey. She was biased on, as hell. She was like triggered, right? Yes. Biased as fuck. Totally on Lacey's side. Did not want to hear anything that came out of Shane's mouth. And nope. where the fuck did she get her degree? I want to know. I know. Plus, she has really bad taste. Like, I like her whole look was upsetting to me. I was triggered by her fashion. You were and triggered coming by from her me, fashion. That means, yeah. And coming from me. I was triggered by her therapy. Okay. Her therapy was triggering me. I know. She's all, see how intense you are when you're angry. And I was all on Shane's side in that. But then by like the end of their segment, they're showing him like throwing shit. And of course, and the like, producers like, had to throw oh, yeah. the shade in. You know that. They had to remind us. Yeah, but like, anger. okay, they did have to remind us because I completely forgot. Right. You, you didn't? Like, I, I was yeah. like, wow, <laughs> wow, he is super intense when he's yeah, angry. But okay i'm not yeah, going yeah, to justify exactly. his outburst but most of his outbursts were because of something that lacy did and it's usually right. john was involved right but so the her whole thing is like oh shane is doing shady things because on his only fans he's communicating with these other men right and and she's like well i went snooping through her phone but when you hear what she says she went, I went, she went snooping through his phone onto his OnlyFans to see the messages he was exchanging one-on-one. -on -one. Roll the tape, people. That is what she said. So, like, it's not like he was having text conversations outside of OnlyFans. It was just in his messages in OnlyFans. Who the fuck cares? Where do you think this man is going to make more than 10 bucks an hour? Thank you. Literally. She looks like she's expensive and high maintenance with those extensions. And, you know, she obviously <sighs> needs a lot of top ups in her lip fillers frequently because what the hell? Anyway, her lips look really painful. She looks she's painful to me as a human being on the planet. Yes. 
Yeah, she's full of shit, and but I do. Yeah, go on. I just want to point out one thing. What she said about her about her daughter that she regrets having Shane's baby is fucked up. Because her daughter. That's like saying she regrets having a baby, right? Exactly. Exactly. She said that she regrets marrying Shane and having his baby. Right. I mean, she didn't say having a baby, but but still. Yeah. Still, I mean, that that's fucked up. I mean, it is. The way these people like deal with the shit about their kids is mm-hmm. messed up. Yeah, it really it is. is. It yeah. really is. But I really do want to point out once again, Shane is now 23. They got together when he was like 21. Thank you. So and he I, served a long time in prison before that. Right. He is so immature. He's like doing, I think, a pretty good job considering. But like this is a man who is is not a grown man. Like no. he he probably isn't doing I me. Mean, he says, I mean, it was kind of shocking when that there when when it was like he felt like he hadn't bonded with the baby. He felt like he couldn't relate to this. He doesn't like but he's not the only man i've ever heard say things like that no, that's true but he's a child he's a baby like yes. i would freak the fuck out if my kid was doing ivf at age 21 or 22. what the hell that's crazy i know talk. that is crazy shit. right that is i crazy mean shit. imagine that happening in your life with your kid your kids like four years away from when they met right i know that is crazy shit no way yeah definitely all right let's move on yes the the thruple that is no more and this honestly all i have to say at the top of this segment is deontay wake the fuck up are you kidding because it literally seems like he thinks Nicole's waiting for him to ride in on a horse and rescue her. Uh, yes. Like, seriously? I think he seriously thinks that Nicole wants him to object at her wedding and sweep her up off her feet and take her away. And his mom is like about to. Agent Deontay. Right. Hello, exactly. wake the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. But oh so then God. we get this crazy news about Tia that yes. she's really sick and she has tumors on her liver. They didn't say whether they were cancerous tumors or whatever, but obviously they're affecting her liver function and that if she doesn't get surgery, she has like eight months to live. Yeah. So Nicole's like, okay, let's go get married. Yes. Yeah. So they're going to get married like right away. So Nicole's going to try on wedding dresses and, um, she has a meltdown wedding dress shopping. Was I'm not sure that the meltdown was when she was shopping. It was very confusing the way they edited this. But when they show that part of it, Deontay is talking about having seen the wedding on social media, which made me feel like it was in the past. And I, that no, I think he said th- that that he seen um that they were going to get married not that they got married she already told him that though i thought they were getting married soon that they were getting married like maybe okay within the next you know whatever yeah yeah well nicole is like i just have to point out like deontay's mom she's like stop the bus and stop the (laughs) damn bus I had to rewind out like three times. And Derek is there. Derek is all there for that. I know. But I the way his the- mom did it in her body language, like yes. she, she like stomps her foot down. Stop the damn bus. <laughs> Derek was so funny though. When Deontay was like, she came to my job. Derek was like, do you hear that? She came to his job. <laughs> and he's like, she's getting married. And he's like, who's she's getting married? to she's like a girl tia and that was when his mom was like (laughs) his mom's funny right yes she is like super funny and she's very passionate about her Mm -hmm. opinions which i don't blame her 
But Derek is doing his best, our boy Derek. Yes. Shout out to Derek. Shout He's out to Derek. He's doing his best to protect his, help his friend, his dumb friend, protect himself. Sorry, but like, Dante, you act like an idiot. If you're not an idiot, I apologize. But like, you are sprung on the wrong girl, this freaking <sighs> anorexic method. Bitch. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to people who are even. St Stan and Lisa, this is this story's killing me, and I pray that it's over. And I would like to start the top of this segment by saying, why is Lisa acting like she's so religious? Like, come on, <laughs> Lisa, like I thought he was a church, you know, a church going man. Oh man, I know. Yeah, I know. Whatever. So he can, she confronts him on the rock climbing wall. Yes. Where him and, and his hair lies. are like barely hanging on for dear life. Uh -huh. uh, uh, seriously, his hair was having a crisis. I guess. <laughs> the, comb over, the comb over is failing at this point. And Lisa's like, okay, so who you been hanging out with? He's like, Tina. I've been talking to Tina. She's like, and what else? And he's like, well, I went out to dinner with Tina. And then she's like, who else? Then she breaks out the I'm Jasmine thing. Uh huh. And he's like, well, I thought we were broken up. What? She, Unless they like just didn't Stan. show us this part. It's like, Stan, she was living in your fucking house. Wait, she went away for one night. Thank and you. And I do not think that she, at least, I mean, the editors didn't show us anything where was, she said they were broken up. No, I mean, no, he gave so her money. I mean, it didn't show anything. Like, where the fuck did he get this idea? And she's still living with you. Like, come on. Like, what the fuck, Stan? But he has this really, like, aggressive dating philosophy, Brianna. He's I know like, he's all like, I missed opportunities. You have to be there at the exact second or you could miss it all together. I was like, don't procrastinate. Yeah, he's like, don't procrastinate. Oh, my God. Procrastinate. Pro procrastinate. He Did he say procrastinate? Oh, my God. I missed that. I would have put that in the notes. Don't, don't procrastinate. procrastinate. This guy is like a dumb mama's boy, right? Because he inherited this money. I don't think that dude has ever had a job. He, no, he obviously I don't invests so. in the stock market, but he's a dummy, like a big dummy. This yes, guy, he right? is a big dummy. He is. A I big actually dummy. think Lisa's smarter than him. Yes, I, I, I would is. hang out with her. Okay, I would not hang out with Lisa, but like she seems like she's got way more intellect going on than this big dumbass. Seriously, so she's been saving up his little the coins he's been giving her. So she has $3,500, which I think yep. she should take some of it and get a new weave stat. I think most of the world agrees with you. Okay. Because and... girls losing her edges. Did you notice on this episode, I mentioned this before. Yeah, she her did. Her hairline is going backwards. Further yes. and further. She has <laughs> major gaps in the hair on her. Like, I would freak out if that were me. That's why I don't get extensions. Because that would happen to me. Anyway, sorry. Sorry for interrupting with this. No, comment, no, it's so. okay. No, it's just, yeah. uh, I totally agree with you. She is yeah. totally losing her edges and she needs to get yeah. a new weave. And so I think she needs a wig or she just needs to be cool with the fact that her hair is short. Yeah. Grow it out because she's going to lose the opportunity to grow it out once she pulls it all out for real. Anyway, so then she breaks up with him, or at least it sure seems that way. Although he's still not sure, right? He's like, I love you, which was like so awkward. It sounded unconvincing. And he's like, there's a lot of other fish in the pond. And I'm like, it's the sea. The thing is a lot of fish in the sea. But like these two with their fucking metaphors, because earlier she's like, I'm not one to jump from one frying skillet to the other. And it's like, that's not how the saying goes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> Out of the frying pan into the fire. Fire. Yeah. Yes. See? Okay. Anyway, let's move on to 
John and Christiana. Yes. Now, Christiana looks fucking amazing. Her hair looks great. Yes. It's like so shiny and thick, speaking of hair. But Mama's got lung cancer, and that's I sad. I know. That is sad. And she lost all her hair, and I was like, did she have a lot of hair? And then they cut to it, and it's like, she had a lot of really long hair. Yeah, she the likes did. Likes of which my head has never seen. Also, it's hard for me to get the get my wrap my mind around the fact that she's fifty eight. I know. That means she's three years older than me. She looks like she's seventy. All that smoking, I'm telling you, do the stop smoking hypnosis, Mary. Yes, no. I will, Priya. No, I will. She I looks will. terrible, but I felt this was coming. With that, she had the oxygen. Her voice is like five octaves too low. Like her, she's fucked up from yes. smoking. Yes, and she, she is. looks aged, seriously aged because of it. So, um, children, quit smoking now. That's yes. Yeah. Or don't start. Don't ever right. start. So that's very sad. Yes. And then and we and take like a lighthearted break to look at the koi pond john john is building from what the some fuck kind is of up like with a that? plastic <laughs> bathtub that he's sinking into the earth there's some kind of offering of love and she's like why are you doing that <laughs> he's like because i love you honey <laughs> like okay <laughs> if you're gonna do a love an offering of love make sure that you're the tar the the target of your love the recipient of your love has an appreciation for it or like, knows brought, what, what the fuck right. it is <laughs> yeah because like if you brought me a bouquet of chrysanthemums i'd be like you do not know me at all or like not not chrysanthemums carnations i fucking hate carnations they're like funeral flowers i'm i'm so like that would be like my husband coming home with a bouquet of carnations for me and i'd be like have we met you know? <laughs> like who the fuck are you <laughs> right you buy me a puppy and it's a dachshund i'd be like do we know each other at all we've been together for a long time like what the hell i hate dachshunds sorry anyway yeah koi pond although i on the other hand would love to have a koi pond i could totally picture you with a koi pond can you really? Yeah, I can. I'm too lazy to actually work in the yard or anything. <laughs> My friend Maria has the koi pond. It's really cool. But then he they're making jokes about eating the koi. I'm like, what? Oh my god, yeah, I know. That's yeah. gross. That is gross. I mean, they're just like overgrown goldfish, basically. Yeah, they it's are. Little, ew. And I hope he's going to put something around the edge or something, because it just literally looks like a bathtub filled up with water that you put some big fish in there. Yeah. I think it's an odd choice, but everything about John is odd. Yes. Right down to his huge vape. <laughs> So they go to see her mom, and it is really sad. It is really sad. She's in a facility. I don't know why exactly she has to like be inpatient somewhere. Probably and she rallies of all with of the that chemo. Wig. Like maybe, all the yeah, chemo. it makes you yeah. really sick. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of a good. I mean, yeah, the headband wig was a little bit like Lisa's. Right, but I think she rocked notes. it better than Lisa. I thought she looked way better than Lisa. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's sad. And then Christiana's really bummed that Tara hasn't even checked in with her mom. Right. I, I have a friend with really like stage four breast cancer and her kid just goes rogue because it's too emotionally painful for her to deal with it and i'm just like what the fuck and this girl's in her 30s it really upsets <laughs> me so like i don't know i just have no i have no forgiveness for this but she's a drug addict right so right and christiana's starting to realize the damage that she has done to her family while she was you know a um, active drug addict because she oh. sees what her sister is doing currently so Oh, yeah, and how much it hurts everyone around her. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. It is okay, sad. so Amber and Puppy is like a total, like, turnaround is <laughs> fair play kind of karma <laughs> event. Right? Yep, it was. 
Amber's drunk. Now she's trying to get Poppy in bed. Poppy's like, um, no, you're a mess. Yes. <laughs> Which is just like totally. And opposite. I have to go home to Eric. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who, judging from the next time on, looks like he's extremely unhappy about this relationship for whatever reason. I think homophobic reasons is what I was taking away, but it was just a preview, you know. Yes. So. Yes. Maybe it's just it's crazy. just jealousy. I mean, he's just he knows that they had a, a romantic relationship before. And he's just jealous. I mean, you know, he sees Amber as the ex. Doesn't matter what the gender is. Except I feel like that's not the case with him. But it's I have no reason for believing this, you know. Okay. But I feel like that's the issue. But we'll find out, I'm sure, in the next. Yes, we will. Yes, that's we pretty will. much all there is to say, I think. Do you have any last thoughts? No. Like, thanks for stopping by, if anyone is watching this. <laughs> and sorry about the live thing. Hopefully yes, sorry about the time. live thing. Yeah. See you again next time, everyone. Check out our 90 Day Fiance podcast coming your way next yes coming your way next and subscribe oh yeah subscribe to our channel yes please click that button subscribe yeah it's very close to you that button you can do this i believe in you not only that i would do it for you so keep that in mind yes we would we would subscribe to your damn channel yes we would please yeah subscribe yeah. to ours yes Okay, everyone, have Bye. a good day, night, evening, weekend, whenever you're listening to this. Peace out.